Hey there, how you doing? So on this video cast, this podcast, just a quick one on something that we mentioned on a previous session a week or so ago. Um, webinars, webinars. So for those of you who've come to us, I just want to give you a, an oversight for those who've asked around what webinars are, how they can help you with recruitment. So um, what they are for recruitment, um, or indeed search. What's your outcome? Number one, get roles. Number two, get candidates. So let's focus on roles first of all. So when you need a role, what needs to happen? You identify, maybe you identify the client that you want or the, um, the sub-niche or the, um, the uh, type of client you want based on various factors. You may go through, right, these, these are the type of companies that I want to engage with based on um, um, size, based on location, based on projects, based on investment. Or you may just base it on, right, I've got these clients in my database, um, or these are clients that I've used before, etc. I'm not sure what your starting point is. So how can um, a webinar help you? So one of the big things I'm a massive proponent of is work, well, have the work happen for you while you sleep, number one. Number two, one to many. And what, what I mean by one to many is if you're having a conversation with um, one client, and it's pretty much the same conversation over and over again with the same objections, would it make sense to... Um, take that feedback of the objections, put it into a conversation again. So before that conversation happens, you've given them some information material that overcomes your objections before you speak to them. Of course it would. Now, if you can do, do that with a webinar, so you, the objections have been overcome before you speak to them, your position has been achieved before you speak to them, and rather than do it one-to-one, -one, if there's a thousand candidates, sorry, a thousand clients in your niche, or 10,000, and you've got 100 per month watching that webinar, and on that webinar, you're identifying and making it really clear for them, right, this is what we do, this is what other recruitment businesses do, this is what uh, um, internal recruitment do, this is what a PSL does, and we are over here, we're completely different, number one, we're different. Number two, you may have these questions, bam, 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 so these objections, but subtly, you bring them into your, into your webinar. And then number three, you have a call to action, which is probably be something like book into your diary or... Um, um, read some material, which could be, I won't say a brochure, but it might be the language you use, but essentially positions your business above all of your competition. And I mean all of your competition. Um, we've had members take contracts of uh, huge companies like Harvey Nash, et cetera, et cetera, over the years, going back many, many years. Um, if you're the one-man person, one-woman business, etc., cetera, um, it's not about that anymore. It's not. It's about overcoming the objections. So again, your, your um, client has three options. Another recruitment business or search business. Number two, they may have an internal recruitment department or HR department, or they do it themselves if they're, if they're a small business. Number three, they might have a preferred suppliers list, i.e. informally, it might be, we always use these guys, or it might be formally, you must use these eight, these eight companies. So you need to overcome all those objections, one, two, three, before you even speak to a client. Before you even speak to them, if you're gonna call all those objections, you haven't got a process, you haven't got a funnel. You're essentially, um, you've got a job which is a pretty shitty job. Um, just that continual rejection over and over again. So why is a webinar good? A webinar's good because you can, um, number one, set the tone from the start. This is what the, um, the subject is. So Mr. Client, this is what the problem you have. We're going to show you how to go from A to B. So the, so the actual webinar itself will be about their world, not your world. Number two, the options they've got of those one, two, three, you overcome those in, in the webinar subtly. So you become the, the natural option the number three, all the objections they've got, but we've never heard of you before. Um, your track record, uh, whatever you might be, your 10, 20, 30 objections you always get, they are also incorporated into your webinar. So by the time they've actually attended your webinar, watch your webinar, all of those factors have been overcome. So when you speak to them, you're actually speaking about a solution and speaking about what you can do for them and you're the price. So the key, the key effort then becomes, right, if there's 10,000 clients in my, um, in my niche, how do I get those onto my webinar? Which is pretty simple, which is pretty simple. It comes down to a set of metrics. Um, so it can overcome the conversion piece you've got very easily. It can overcome you not being an authority very easily. And it can also overcome your actual sales development process very easily. So on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly basis, you've got these very, very binary numbers, which are 100% binary. There's no guesswork, there's no, um, Steve had a bad day, he only made seven dials or whatever, or that day you had to look after the kids. It's very binary, you've got a set of numbers. 
And the actual getting the clients onto a webinar can be run by a VA with initial control by you. Um, the webinar itself, you can um, automate it so it's recorded, um, so it can run without you. And then on the back of that, the call to action is then booking to your diary, you've got a binary number again, which says um, there's 10,000 clients in my niche. This month, um, 200 watched the webinar. This month, 20 booked into my diary. Of the 20 booked in my diary, um, 10, I spoke to 10. Uh, I've got seven rolls of the 10. I've got paid on five of the seven, etc. Now there's sub numbers under that, but it's very, 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 very um, controlled. There's no guesswork. And it's not around you working four hours a day or 40 hours a day. Of course, with any um, new strategy, there's an initial hit. But that one webinar, when it's converted, can run probably for, well, in this current economy, depending on your niche. So if you're dealing with, um, let me see, if you're dealing with a, a niche like cyber or a niche like um, e-commerce or a niche like um, logistics, you may need to change the, uh, you know, the subjects in six months' time. But if you're in a more traditional niche, uh, probably the, the subjects and the process can, can stay active for 12 months plus. So initial hit, and then it becomes, right, VA, how do I get people onto the webinar? Well, will you direct them? So with that said, it's equipment on webinars. Now, I said I was going to share the candidate side. What I'm going to do is actually do that on a separate, um, a separate video. So guys, with that said, if you've not um, taken that step yet of webinars, there's actually four types of webinar which can help grow your business. This is one of them. It's one of them. I've, um, you know, I've been through hell and back trying to push this in recruitment for the last decade. When I first came into recruitment, I, I pushed this in a huge, huge way as a webinar and no one got it. And then I changed a few words in, um, in our own promotional material to online seminar and boom, suddenly it took off. If you're not doing this yet, um, you need to. If you are doing it and you've not got control metrics to tell you you've got, for each time that you um, put 500 leads through, you get four new roles or whatever your number is. If you've not got those numbers, then you, you might be running the webinar, but actually you're not running the webinar properly. So this can be a game changer for you. There is an initial hit, but um, I've been pushing this now for years. We, we get together live in London, or well, usually three times a year with our members. And as my members will, will say, I'm, I've continued to be pushing this for a long, long time. Now even more so. Um, we've got the onset of Zoom and all these things. And what happened when this all um, took off? Everyone worked from home and there's like a bell curve. Everyone's on Zoom, bam, 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 bam. And we have members who've never run a webinar before when it all first started, getting onto it, literally run a webinar and they've got 500 clients on a webinar. First time they've done it. Then of course what happened was as, as remote became more of a thing and it became more of a bell curve, those numbers went down. Now what you're going to find is it's going to start to go down the other side again. So it's not a case of a Zoom call, it's basically a conversion model, a conversion model, and it's about having a conversion event. So you've got your leads, who your clients are, you've got an event, which is the webinar, and you've got an outcome, one, two, three, input, process, output, and you control all three steps of them. If you want to know more, um, so there's four types of webinar. You know, we've got slides created for two types, literally fill in the blank. Um, reach out to us at recruitmentmarketinternational.com forward slash meet, recruitmentmarketinternational.com forward slash meet. But um, again, you've probably got less time than usual right now. Four hours a day may be the number. So how do you get something running for you while you sleep? Webinars are a great one. With that said, I'm off for a members call now. Um, we're about to kickstart it. Our mastermind is um, 2 p.m. each Monday.